A stormy night at Collinwood, a night for revenge, and one twisted, enraged young man is determined to silence the enemies who are against him, and so unable to trust one living human being, he is forced to call upon the dead to help him with his plan. Thomas Finley, will you join me? Thomas Finley. John Hart, would you like to see the lightning and hear the thunder? Amos Ross, how would you like to break out of the bonds of the earth that hold you? Memory Pace, unable to rest, unable to think, to dream. All of you in your graves, will you follow me if you have the chance? O oh God of the underworld, hear me, your servant, for I have a need of hands that are not mine, of a body without mine, of a heart that does not beat. Just give me these, these dead, and I will give you five new souls for yours. Five new souls for all eternity. Just make them rise from their sleep. Make their arms move. Make their hands come out into the night air. Make them my servants. No! Thomas Finley. Amos Ross. Amos Ross! And Emery Page. Now look at me! I am your leader. Your allegiance is to me. Now there is much to be done. Five new souls are going to join you in your underground. Four men and one woman. Barnabas Collins, Quentin Collins, Roger Collins, Willie Loomis, and one woman, Julia Hart. Now their graves are to be dug tonight, for they will be in them by tomorrow.
one of us what's wrong? I don't know. But ever since I came from the coffin room, I've had this strange feeling, almost a premonition. About what? Have you seen Jeb today? Didn't he go to Collinwood? Perhaps, but not that I know of. He's planning something, I feel it. Ever since Nicholas Blair came back, he's, they've done nothing. Only Why? They, if only they hadn't discovered that, that Maggie Evans was, was working for us and not with them. We've got to find someone that they can trust. We found someone, Julia. Megan. Megan? Megan and I have had a long talk. What else have you had, Barnabas? What is your question, Julia? Must you read meanings into everything I say? Ju Megan is unhappy. Her husband's in jail. He's signed a confession for three murders he never committed. Now, wouldn't that be enough to put anyone against Jeb? Yes, anyone except Megan. She's a fanatic about Jeb. We can use her, Julia, and we will. When did you have this talk? You came to give me injections. I'm ready. All right, Barnabas. I'll finish this, and then I'll go down to the pharmacy and get what I need to make up some more serum. The serum seems to be affecting me differently than it did before. How? Well, the last time I had no need for blood. I could actually feel myself changing, but this time I don't. Barnabas, you haven't given in yet, have you? Have you? How stupid of me not to have guessed the truth. Dr. Hoffman, a doctor with a very bizarre practice. It's dusk again. Why doesn't he call for me? Doesn't he realize how much I need him? Why doesn't he summon me? Please come in. This is started. Where's Maggie? I believe she's in the drawing room. I saw her coming downstairs a few minutes ago. Uh, I want you to stay with her tonight. I plan to have Bruno guard her, but I've set him on another errand. Now you go with her to her room, and you see that no one comes in. But Jeb, make, what's happened? Just make sure she's alone. That's all I'm going to tell you. Well, of course, I understand. If Barnabas Collins should come, but Barnabas Collins never comes to this house anymore. If you know that. Barnabas Collins comes, Mrs. Stoddard. You make sure that she's not alone with him. Uh, are uh, Roger Collins and Carolyn here? No, they took uh, David and Amy to a concert in Bangor. Oh, then they'll be back late. Oh, that's very good. Why? I uh, ask the questions, Mrs. Stoddard. You don't. Now make sure that you stay with her. about Megan as I did. She's too suspicious. Why do I feel this sense of doom tonight? Why can't I shake it off? What is happening to me? Why do I feel this way? No. No. Blood. I must have blood. I've never felt this need for blood so strongly before. 
Megan. I can understand you're being very depressed about everything that's happened to you, but I can't believe it's all mental. You're obviously ill. Well, what is it, Megan? But I heard a voice calling for me. Megan. Megan. No, I cannot. She will die. I must not give it into myself. I must not. For her sake as well as mine. Where's Julia? She can help me. Surely. No, she's gone to Collins Park. Not Megan. Not Megan. I don't hear anyone, Megan. It's your imagination. Yes. I guess it must be. Well, let me take you upstairs. No. But you'll rest so no. much better up there. No. Well, can't I do something for you? Yes. It's a water. Like a glass of water. His throat is so hot. Of course. I must find blood. I must. Barnabas. Barnabas. Why didn't you summon me? I know you need me. You need me. You must leave. Go back to Collinwood. Never, Barnabas. It's for your sake. For my sake? I do nothing for my sake now. I only live for you. Oh, Megan, please. You don't know what... What will happen? It won't happen. You can't imagine how much it means to me that you need me so. Go away, Megan. Go away. Don't come any closer. Don't! Thank heavens. Was Megan outside? No. Where is she? She asked for a drink of water. I went to her room and she disappeared. She's so terribly weak. Julia, I know she's desperately ill. Well, what's the matter with her? Well, I don't know. She wouldn't say, but she just said the light bothered her eyes. Julia, where are you going? You were leaving to go to somebody else, but I won't let you. I won't. I want to be yours again. Please, let me be. Megan. Barnabas. I didn't want her to come back. She knew. She knew there was something wrong with me. Don't look at me that way. Do you think I did this by choice? No, Barnabas, I... I know you did not. Will she be all right? She's 
dead. <laughs> oh, no. Barnabas. Barnabas, if not for you, she would have been against us. If Jeb had told her to kill you and I, she would have done it. Don't try to comfort me, Julia. I'm not. I'm just trying to be realistic. If I bowed, I would... I would get every one of Jeb's followers, but I didn't mean it this way. Why didn't she go back to Collinwood? Why did I panic? Perhaps I would have died and this would all be over. It is over now. For her. No, it isn't. You've forgotten what will happen to her. She'll become as, as you are. Unless... Barnabas. Bar Barnabas, you, you must. You must do it before she rises. Don't you think I know that? Do you think I want her to go through the agony that I do? Do you think I want her to need the blood so strongly that... You must do it, Barnabas. Now, before she rises. Yes. Yes, now. I must do to her what my enemies want. Want from me. A hammer and a stake. Where can we find a stake? Come, we'll make one downstairs. Stupid. You were stupid. How was I to know Megan would leave? I don't allow excuses. Now get up into that room and stay there, no matter what you hear. What's going to happen now? You don't deserve to know. This is still my house. Oh, is it? Is it really, Mrs. Stoddard? Go. Stay down there, Julia. I have no need for you here. I'm coming, Barnabas. But I put you through so much already. Barnabas, I've not done anything that I've been forced to do. Julia. We won't need these. She's gone. You know what to do. Now I'll not be able to be with you. There's something I must do. Something to stop one of my people from becoming like you. But now you know your orders. Carry them out. As soon as you find her, I'll, I'll be in my room, seeing if I can find out what's wrong with the serum. You think you'll be able to isolate her? Barnabas, you have no time to worry about that now. Now go. 